Good evening, and as we come on the air this Sunday night, America is just now coming to grips with what unfolded here in the early morning hours here in Orlando, a massacre at a gay nightclub uh, right here behind me. You can see the sign, it's black and white, just over uh, my shoulder here. And at the center of it all, a lone gunman who in the middle of that massacre called 911 to pledge allegiance to ISIS. Oh, oh my God. A volley of gunshots in the night, carnage mounting inside, the injured on the ground outside. The gunman, Omar Mateen, was an American born in New York, and tonight we now know he was known to the FBI and yet had bought his weapons in just the past few days. Across America tonight, an emotional response, and here in Orlando, hundreds of people lining up all day long to donate their own blood after so much bloodshed. You can hear the choppers overhead tonight as we come on, and we have team coverage beginning here with ABC's Gio Benitez. Three hours of terror overnight. Multiple shootouts, hostages, a packed nightclub under siege. Authorities say Omar Mateen arrived at Pulse Orlando, a gay nightclub and bar armed with an AR-15 type assault rifle, a handgun, and an unknown number of rounds of ammunition. It appears he was organized and well prepared. By the time it was all over, at least 50 people dead, even more injured tonight. The first signs of trouble just after 2 a.m. Officers responding to gunfire at the club. At one point, Mateen goes outside where police exchange shots with the suspect. He runs back inside to open fire again. All I was hearing the bang, bang, bang. I thought it was part of a song. There's blood splattering. I didn't know if it was mine or somebody else's. Pulse nightclub posting on Facebook, everyone get out of Pulse and keep running. It just started shooting, 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 and that's when we knew something was wrong, and we, everybody just dropped to the ground, and then people started running. Dozens who did not make it out, now hostages stuck inside. Some huddled inside the bathroom, texting to loved ones. Mina Justice showing us these ominous messages. Mommy, I love you, writes her son, trapped in bathroom. And please come get us out, because he's about to kill us. So he said he was going to die and he loved me. That's the last thing I heard. Authorities sending armored vehicles and SWAT teams to the scene, then deciding it is time to make their move. We're being told possibly up to uh, 15 remaining in the club that are barricaded in. Just after 5 a.m., SWAT officers breach a wall of the club, exchanging gunfire with the suspect again. That just shooting back and forth. From there, uh, we exchanged gun gunfire with the suspect, and he was dead at that scene. We rescued about 30 people. This image of the damaged helmet on an officer injured during the firefight. The aftermath gruesome. Victims on the street, others carried away, their clothes soaked in blood. Worried relatives rushing to the club. My son hasn't been heard from, so I don't know if he was left in the club if he got shot or if he's being worked on here. I don't know. It's terrible. <laughs> he's my only child. As day breaks, authorities combing through the massive crime scene. The amount of bodies that are in there, the amount of victims, uh, it's going to take uh, some time. Tonight, that mother still searching for her son, pleading for tolerance. When he was in high school, he started the Gay Straight Alliance. I've been so proud of him for that thing. Please, let's all just get along. We're on this earth for such a short time. Let's try to get rid of the hatred and the violence. Please. The anguish of just one mother tonight and to think that there are 50 families who are going through this, not to mention the injured. And Geo, the authorities here on the scene said you could see it in the faces of the officers who then came out of the nightclub, what they must have witnessed on the inside. It was just pure horror. And right now at that nightclub, the deceased are still in there. These victims have not been identified yet. And so many mothers, fathers, boyfriends, girlfriends left with so many questions. All right, we'll stay on this throughout the night with us, Geo. Thank you.